Welcome to Revolutionary Ideas. I'm Jim Kunkel, host of the Digital Revolution with Jim Kunkel podcast, and I would like to share a recent online Forbes Technology Council post by Bill Wade, council member appearing on Forbes.com titled, At What Point Is Digital Transformation a Success? Let's dive into this post. Just like people share their New Year's resolutions, Businesses worldwide are doing the same. According to IDG Research Services, 87% of enterprises have a digital transformation effort underway. So there's no sitting on the sidelines. You're in the race whether you want to be or not. Digital transformation sounds like an expensive, laborious slog. The good news is that most companies are likely closer to succeeding at it than they think. Getting in shape and digital transformation have a lot in common. Planning, persistence, and patience, with a lot of pragmatism, are the keys to achieving your goals. Either way, every old school competitor raising their game and scores for a new digital first upstart, jumping into the fray, there's no avoiding digital transformation. Back in 2018, IDC projected companies would spend six trillion US dollars on digital transformation through 2022. In 2020, Boston Consulting Group collectively reigned on that parade saying only 30% of them would succeed in achieving their transformation goals. So it came as a surprise to many that when IDC updated its forecast more recently, saying that spending will increase to 10 trillion through 2025, but KPMG sent it in the clouds, finding that the majority of American businesses have not seen an increase in performance or profitability from digital transformation investments. It might seem like we're spending a lot of money to deliver less than desired outcomes and that we're not making much progress. Are we heading backwards? That's an obvious question, but the less obvious questions are. Number one, do you feel like you are succeeding in places? Number two, how are you measuring success? And number three, when is it over and you get to declare victory? When you're in a new fitness regime, have you failed because you've only lost 10 pounds of your 20 pound goal? Of course not. You celebrate your progress and you keep working at it. In a digital transformation, each company's goals and starting points are unique to their particular circumstances. Now, there are different ways to measure progress. The trick is to keep pushing. Remember planning, persistence, patience, and pragmatism together. The combined synergy will help your company deliver results. For example, many have seen digital transformation efforts that have helped digital banks onboard almost all of its customers within four minutes and without manual intervention. Banks have also seen a massive increase in efficiency by major banking activities. And many experts point out that companies are succeeding in digital transformation. Those are the ones that are relentless in their experimentation and implementation. Now, according to author Jim Collins, he described this in his book, Good to Great, Believers in the Flywheel Concept. Collins could be describing digital transformation when he writes, no matter how dramatic the end results are, good to great transformations never happen in one fell swoop. In building a great company or social sector enterprise, there is no single defining action, no grand program, no one killer innovation, no solidarity, luck break, no miracle moment. Rather, the progress resembles relentless pushing a giant heavy flywheel, turn upon turn, building momentum until a point of breakthrough and beyond. So if you're worried that your digital transformation isn't where you want it to be, keep pushing. I really found value in this post and would like to add my take on when you know that digital transformation was a success for your business? Well, there is no definitive answer to this question for every business as different companies 
have different goals and metrics for measuring their digital transformation effort. However, there are some possible ways to evaluate the success of digital transformation, and they include comparing the key performance indicators, those are KPIs, before and after the digital transformation, such as revenue, profit, market share, customer satisfaction, employee engagement, innovation, and sustainability. Assessing the return on investment, or ROI, of the digital transformation projects, such as cost savings, revenue growth, or competitive advantage that they generate. Analyzing the feedback from the stakeholders involved in the digital transformation, such as customers, employees, business partners, and suppliers, and identifying the areas of improvement or satisfaction. And finally, benchmarking the digital maturity of the company against the industry standards or best practices and identifying the gaps or opportunities for further development. Please give this video a like if you found value on this topic. Also, please make sure to follow and subscribe to the Digital Revolution with Jim Kunkel podcast. You'll find it by searching on any of the major podcasting platforms. And also, too, make sure you check out the Digital Revolution YouTube channel on YouTube as well. Really appreciate to have you subscribe there also. And you'll get new audio episodes and also video episodes coming out every week on either platforms. Once again, thank you for supporting the revolution.